powered by Sports Interaction. <sighs> Is it time? Is it time, Flames fans? I, I think it's time. You were warned about a prop. Sorry for everybody listening on playback. You were warned about a prop. It's time. It's time for the prop. It's just, just give me one second. Also, ear reveal because I always wear headphones. Oh, there goes my sock. Can this even be seen? I don't even know if you can see this. This is where we are, Flames fans. This is where we are. Hold, hold on. Can't forget the hat. This is uh, this is where we are, Flames fans. Putting a bag over my head. I'm gonna hold on to that. I might. I feel like I might need that uh, for future calls. So. Um, this is our new friend on Game Over Calgary. Um, welcome to Game Over Calgary, the sad boy edition. Uh, the Calgary Flames losing by a score of five to two against uh, the pesky St. Louis Blues. Apparently. Three things I'm not going to tolerate on today's stream. One, I got a bad hip. I'm an old man. I don't know what I did. I woke up and I, I'm in pain. So you're going to see me like jolting around. It's just trying to alleviate this pain. Second thing, yeah, you're goddamn right I'm wearing my Steve Dangleberry shirt again. It's the Christmas season. Get festive. Get cultured. Go to sdpnshop.ca.com.ca. Robert can confirm. Buy your merch. This is the most handsome, ugly Christmas Christmas sweater I've ever worn. It's got four Steve Dangles on it. It's gorgeous. And the third thing is, everybody says that I do a really good job covering losses. Tonight's not going to be one of those nights. I am angry. I am frustrated. And there are lots of things to talk about on uh, on tonight's episode of Game Over Calgary. Think you know what way it's going to go? Make your bet with Sports Interaction. Whether it's World Cup, which is coming to an end on Sunday, so get your bets in soon. Hockey, football, or basketball, Sports Interaction has you covered. Bet pregame, live and play, or on one of our many prop bets. Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Join now and see all sports betting has to offer. Want to bet? Head to sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. That's sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. 19 plus, please play responsibly. Um, and if you or anybody you know has any issues with gambling, lots of resources out there, check the show notes and uh, be sure to uh, reach out to people if you if you know that they do have uh, some gambling problems. Not that I'm laughing at that. I'm laughing at my next guest who uh, is, is going to be joining us uh, because you're going to see very, very momentarily here. Uh, you may know him from YouTube. You may know him from Twitter, the most outspoken blues fan I know, but he's handsome and I love him. And we welcome my friend Mason, AKA blues fan reacts to the show. And, uh, for those of you who can't see it, uh, I want to explain what you're covering your hat with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you mean? This is just, uh, this is just this upcoming years. I, a little, little known fact. I'm actually a blues like merch insider. This oh. is actually the very next Stanley cup release when they are rigged to win the cup this year. That's just it's facts. You heard it from me here first. Everybody you think so? Knows the league is rigged. Every yeah. single person in the entire hockey universe knows that this league is rigged, right? So they obviously have to make the merch like way ahead of time. This yes. is their brand new release. I think it's kind uh. of a cheap cop out. It looks awfully similar to the 2019 version, but it is brand freaking new. You know, yeah, it, it's hot, hot must, off the press. It's a must get. It's hot off the press. A must get <laughs> hat. They ship me and like three other people prototypes, right? So this is. Hang on, I gotta stop moving my head so that <laughs> you can see. It yeah, like now I, it says 2023 nine. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. This, is, this is just like it's part of the illusion. It's part mm. of the illusion. But no, the Blues are going to be Stanley Cup champions. It is confirmed, especially after this game against the Cowboys. I will, I will say the, that uh, the St. Louis Blues will likely be Stanley Cup champions again at some point, and that's as far as I am willing to go. Okay. <laughs> what a fucking atrocious game. What a... Uh, that, that like And you know what? I, my guests have been really lucky lately because most of them have been out of market, and they get to come on here and be like, what are you talking about? This wasn't atrocious. This was great. Like, what are you, this is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about, but yet again, it's my fifth game over in consecutive order. Um, and it's my fifth 
fourth or I, I'm losing track of how many games it's been since the Calgary <laughs> Flames have won a hockey game, and I've had to come on this lovely network and uh, and talk about something good Calgary Flames related. So it's frustrating for me. It's hard. Um, but I got to ask you, Milan Lucic has been out of the lineup for two games, three games, two games, three. I can't even remember now. It's been so long. It's all blurred together. How excited were you as the outsider to see this man back in the lineup? Oh, I could tell that he wasn't in the lineup. I was wondering. <laughs> no, okay, no, okay, no. You know what? You know how I knew that it was like about time. I'm sorry, the illusion has to wear off at some point. That's okay. The jokes, we, jokes get old we quick on my YouTube channel, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but uh, I. It was funny because I saw Milan Lucic was out there for like three of the last five minutes of the game because the coach put him there expecting him to like hit somebody and he didn't lay a single thing on the ice. And I'm like, oh, he must be back in the lineup. This must be a recent thing. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is like, like this is something that happens more often than not with this Calgary Flames team, is they they use their old big men hit other men <laughs> type players like Milan Boy, Lucic. That doesn't sound familiar. Like, ah, I I know oh. I, I know I'm beating the drum to you, but like, man. I, I saw a tweet from uh, I'm gonna credit Mike Gould if he's in here uh, he'll he'll be able to uh, attest to it or not. Uh, he works for Flames Nation and Daily Faceoff and he said um, it appears as though the Calgary Flames are double shifting Milan Lucic in the <laughs> final five minutes of this hockey game. And I don't look I don't think Milan Lucic is the sole reason that the Calgary Flames lose this game. But fuck me if you're down by three. With five minutes left in the game, and you can't sc- you you can't buy a goal right now. You got to rely on Connor Mackey to not only score two, but then have a beauty assist on the was it the Brandon Sod goal? A beautiful <laughs> assist. You want to night for Connor Mackey? You want you want to talk of like he was he was on pace to have the most anticlimactic hat trick ever uh, because he served a pe- like this. Guy, he got to be the first person ever, and I think Gold put this out again, to have a hat trick only to be a healthy scratch the next game. That was god awful. Like, what? I know you're laughing at my pain, and, and you're a prick for it, but I love you. Um, <laughs> if that isn't the blue season in a nutshell, bro. Bro, Kyrie. Okay, so if, uh, uh, the last game, well, the second to last game I went to was a 7 4 loss against the Montreal Canadiens, right smack dab in the middle of the Blue seven game losing streak, right? Yeah. It was right, the, or excuse me, no, that was an eight game losing streak. I was going to say, which, which losing streak are you, yeah, are you talking one, about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am in no right, position to chirp. I am in was no right, position to chirp. <laughs> it was right smack in the middle of it. It was a 7 4 loss to the Montreal Canadiens. Cairo had two goals for the Blues, and it was like, he's about to get scratched in game or trade. One of the two because he was playing so bad. Wow. How's Brian <sighs> Elliott doing these days? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to bring that. I you know what? I'm 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 like this close. I'm this close, Mason. All right, no more chair. <laughs> I'm this fucking close. Just, you have no idea weird. how much on the breaking point I am with this team. And a lot of people and, and, and like from a flames perspective, a lot of people will tell me, and I've seen it online, Audit Chill Out, you know. I've seen that a lot, actually. I, I lose my mind a little bit on oh, the old bird app. People never tell me to chill out. No, but that's okay because that would be off-brand for you to chill out. Um, mm. Anyways, Audi, chill out. Oh, they'll find a way. Oh, it's going to it's gonna click. We're almost like, what are we, 30 games into this season? And it hasn't oh God, clicked. Already? Something like that. It's got, it's got to be something stupid like 30 games. To, okay, if it's not 30, it's close to 30. Um, it is 31 games. 31 games. There you go. Um, what's it going to take? And, and, like, you know, everybody gets – everybody beats that drum of, oh, just relax, just chill out. Um, and, yeah, it's 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 not going to be any chilling out here until this team finds some scoring and finds better ways to score. That's the biggest thing tonight that pissed me the frick off. I don't know why I chose to not curse there. I've been cursing all night. Um <laughs> But for, you before gotta make it into heaven at some point, uh, I'm not going. I'm not going. You know damn well I'm not going. Um, 
I want to ask you something before we we're gonna hit some of the live chat here because we got a lot of people asking some questions and just getting their licks oh in boy. right now. Um, <laughs> I don't even have a pull up. I'm sure there's something. There's some good stuff in here so far, uh, and some I can see some chirps from other game over hosts. So it's it's gonna be one of those oh, nights. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. But for your money, like on a serious note, are the St. Louis Blues just really good at defending uh, high danger areas? Or are the Calgary Flames just really good at only taking perimeter shots and giving uh, what did you call him Jesus Price or Jesus Grace? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you giving... just lost the Jesus Christ Flames. <laughs> Jesus... Or are they just really good at giving Jesus Grace these perimeter shots with no traffic that he can see from a mile away? What is it? Is it the Blues D or is it the Flames just being uh, not very smart with the puck in the ozone? I think it's the Blues rolling a dice, and then if it's an odd number, they play good, and if it's an even number, they play bad. And that's just how their defenses work from the very beginning of the season. Even, you know, every once in a while, you roll evens like a couple times in a row, and then you roll odds. I think we're in the middle of the odd stage where, you know, like they're playing all right right now. I looked at the Flames, and they're like, and granted, Jesus Christ made some immaculate saves in this game. You he cannot did, say it, that to, all shots were on the perimeter. To start the second period, say, it was it was pretty sketchy. Uh, but he 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 was uh, vintage Carey Price. I mean Thomas Grice. Um, yes, yeah, it is. He looked very good. But yes, to continue your point. To continue my point, what happens is the Blues only defend the front of the net, right? And when that happens. They get backdoor feeds every single time. That's what happened against the LA game where it was like four goals against and Bennington got pulled and Blues fans were like, well, what the frick? He hasn't done anything wrong. They were all backdoor tapping. They stay in front of the net. They don't defend anything outside. And then suddenly the rumors of, okay, if you don't start playing well, everybody's going to get traded. We were at that point and it's like, okay, so now they're finally starting to play. But what ends up happening is the Blues try. They, they try they try so hard to tell us they're a bad team and then they pull a game like this out of their ass. And I think this is credit to the Calgary Flames more than anything. Experience it, Calgary Flames hockey, baby. Oh my gosh. I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was this bad. I told I DM'd you earlier. I was like, I was mad at you because I put a hundred bucks at the beginning of the season before we were winning the cup this year. I know, and I, I told you, why would you want to why would you want to pick like you just better off taking a hundred dollar bill and, and lighting it on fire? <sighs> But they have these games. They like, are you? How many Blues games have you watched that weren't against the Calgary Flames? I gotta be honest with you, none, none. I, I caught, I caught the, the highlights last night, and that uh, in Edmonton, and that was it. You and I know the exact same amount of whether the Blues are good or bad. Me and you have the exact same outlook. Our opinions are equally valid because nobody has a damn clue. Not yeah. a single person. Yeah. Sorry, it wasn't – Did they didn't play – Was it Edmonton they played last night? Were they in Edmonton? Yep. Okay, that's right. Yep. Okay. And that was Where a dry side shootout won win. Where Dreisaitl won the game and then didn't. <laughs> Good. We can get licks in on Edmonton as well. This is perfect. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Hey, that's no, the look. no opposition. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Okay, let's hit some of that. We got. I've got to scroll way back. There's a lot of comments in here. A lot of people taking bets on what my prop was going to be. Uh, oh, Robert no. saying he was so afraid, <laughs> as you should have. One question for Calgary Flames fans right now: Who the fuck is Connor Mackey? Um, <laughs> who is he's, he? He's a guy. <laughs> if there's one thing that the Blues are really good at, it's having the. I I download the score just so I can have like the app widget on my phone. Yeah, where it's like on my home screen just like that that's why yeah, i have it just yeah. for those at the top there and it said goal connor Mackey," and i'm like who <laughs> if there's one thing the blues are good at it's making those notifications go on my screen and me going who is what? pretty well versed in the sport of hockey and what players on our one teams and then going who the fuck is that <laughs> yeah uh college free agent signing um a couple of years ago and due to what seems like a deplorable blue line as well this year uh, is finding his way into the lineup. Also, Shillington is out or he's hasn't reported yet. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so he's been uh, he's he's been playing. So that's your uh, very quick answer. Um, 
Let's see here. Robert turns volume down when I hopped on. Nice ears. Uh, this is great. I love you, Audie. So hope. Nice so the prop ears. was the prop was Audie's ears. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> the prop was over under how many ears we see on an Audie James stream. <laughs> yeah, people sending their love and their hugs for the suffering. Uh, and, pe and people, <laughs> a lot of people tell me to put the bag back on. I'll put the bag back on later. Later. Don't uh, don't pity him. He chose this lifestyle. <laughs> I did. I did. Um, people saying not enough Steve Dangles on that shirt. I think there's more than enough, being that there's <laughs> there's four of them. Not enough. Like like rookie numbers. Rookie uh, did numbers. you see what it says? It says deck the halls with Steve Dangleberries. <laughs> <laughs> I told Steve, I said, this is the most handsome, ugly Christmas sweater I've ever worn. Uh, if, if next time you talk to Steve, let him know that he needs to get like a sweater that just has all Steve faces, just like plastered all over it. Oh, my God. Sizes. That would sell just out. All over it. That would sell out. Uh, exactly. Somebody's somebody saying four dangles, kind of like Kairu, which is fair. Speed Ooh, Demon is elite. And I know that. I, like that I know the Speed Demon is elite. Uh, you, like you've, you've, you've taught me that. Um this David saying, on the jersey, this is the lucky jersey right someone saying, uh, David saying, five straight losses. Talk about the Flames looking to break their record for straight losses this season. So far, uh, at seven to start November. Yeah, that was that was bad. Um, wow. We're not going to go back to uh, go back to that. A lot of love for you. Uh, people saying, Blues fan reacts? Question mark! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Question mark! Um, is that Steve's autistic brother? <laughs> it's J. It's J. Money. <laughs> J. Money with that. Uh, Connor Mackey, Rocket Richard, watch. Even with the Flames in third in the West, wild card race is tied with the Avs on points. Almost lost. Good teams don't lose five or more straight games. That's uh, that's very true. I'm going to scroll yeah, all the way down to the Blues because there's a lot of there's a lot of comments here, but I'm going to catch up on some of them. Um, Lauren, other other game over hosts. Hello, a a Avery. Uh, chirping that Milan Lucic was playing for uh, way too goddamn long, um, <laughs> and petitioning for me to be the head coach. No, no, it's the most there thankless. There were petitions about me being a D man for the Blues because we were down by so much. <laughs> <laughs> there was like an online actual change.org petition. <laughs> I, would, I I must have missed that signature. I don't um, know what's I I don't know what was sad or the fact that it was made or the fact it was only it only got three signatures. That uh, that that kind of made me sad. I could my have at least made it. Four. I I made a tweet. My qualifications are I'm tall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I want to take you to the collapse on the Butchnevich goal. Um. Oh my God! Was, was that? that the one where literally, quite literally, everything broke down? It was a turnover in the D zone. Lucic blew his assignment. Weger, no, that was the second Kairu goal because because Weger blew his assignment, missed his man. Lucic missed his man. Uh, they went for a bad line change, and then Weger threw the puck off of uh, someone's skate, and it might have yes, been Kairu's Kairu skate. second. Psych Kairu's second goal was the one that went off of the defender's skate. That was that one. That was a complete lapse in coverage on the D-man's part. But to be fair, it was a two-on-one, and it's Thomas and Kairu going into your zone. You really didn't have a shot. The future you, of the franchise. A, Not a big had deal. You had a snowball. You had a snowball. <laughs> yeah, right. You had a snowball shot in hell at that point, right? No, the Bucznevich goal was the absolute, what the fuck was Rasmus Anderson doing? Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! I just, saw that. Just I didn't cheer. Piss this poor. Is my reaction. I was watching. I was like, <laughs> I didn't cheer. He says, <laughs> I didn't cheer. I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you, you know, it's bad when you feel so bad for the other team when, that when your team scores, you I just did. you're like, no, that was, oh that man, was I, that, that's I, I that's that's a pity cheer. If I'm cheering, that's a pity cheer. Oh man. <laughs> um, another couple things. Uh yeah, 2023. Yeah, yeah. I got to focus the That's camera. okay. You're good. You're good. Well, uh I got a couple things that I want to ask you to um cuz you asked me how many Blues games have I watched? How many like have you caught the Flames much this year prior to their matchup against the Blues? Not really. No, not really. Only to chirp. I don't give Kachuk. That's the only reason I ever watched. <laughs> Poor them. Paul. Paul taking the just complete unnecessary <laughs> drive advice. What did he say? 
he texted me very okay let's see what he texted me he said the roof the roof the roof's on fire oh and your my. team's gonna choke when the smoke gets higher because we skate fast burn i shoot fast check tight sutter looking good right 1989 hit him with that good good throw going glove side 2004 it was in we know that's right big bad back do you know what that's in reference to <laughs> no he Oh, that's from that stupid music video, isn't it? <laughs> he just copied and pasted the the lyrics. Um, that one and the uh, what the fuck does he even do? <laughs> I can't with Paul. I can't with Paul. That's that's too good. <laughs> I thought this was a pretty good interaction. Uh, oh my god. Me to Thomas Christ. I just got <laughs> Oh Jesus, <laughs> Jesus save us! Um, so Jesus back to Christ. Jesus Christ. So 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 back to a bit of flames talk as we kind of derail, but that's kind of what we do when we when we're in a silly goofy mood and the Calgary Flames suck. Um, when you're in a silly, I'm three shots deep. You're four hits on your jewel right now. So who fucking knows? Yeah, pretty accurate. Um, so you haven't watched a lot of Calgary Flames, which no. which is fine. Well, after watching this game, in in the most simplest of terms, does this Calgary Flames team have an identity? No. <laughs> and what is it? Because they have uh, okay, like, they do have an identity. Their identity is what the fuck is Rasmus Anderson even doing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's their, their identity. They scream. I'm so sorry. They scream boys club right now. That's what they scream. They scream boys club without the championship pedigree. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to be paying Nazem Kadri $7 million when he's 39 years old. <laughs> Here we go with the bag. The thing. No, I looked at this and I'm like, okay, he makes that good deal. He signs like four other players that exact same time. Oh, Treatment has redeemed himself. Oh, who needs Goudreau? Who needs Kachuk? What is it? Literally Goudreau the has, flames. Look, John, Jonathan Huberto has what, 15 points this year right now? I think it's 15. Mm-hmm. Johnny Goudreau on a bottom three team has 31 right now. The Blue Jackets are going to be in the sweepstakes for Connor Bedard, and Johnny Gaudreau is going to have another 100-point season. I don't it's... know. No, Bedard's going to center time Thomas and Cairo. That's just been already a thing. <laughs> is, that what, is that what it's going to be? That's exactly what it's going to be. It's Fair. either that or Josh freaking Levo. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 not good in Flamesland, as you can as you can clearly tell. Good. It's just. It's Does bad. your defense do that every single night? Uh no. I don't think you I don't think so. I, I, I don't think that the defense like I think this was one of, if not the worst games for the entirety of the blue line this year for the Flames. Because I was gonna say, if that's a normal thing, it's no wonder that they're losing. Yeah, seriously. Um but no, it's usually a combination of a few things. Like Oh my like, god. Like, Shots were eleven hit. I'm not even that happy about the Blues winning. I'm not it was even that bad. Happy. You want to know why? We were doubled up in shots. Mm-hmm. It was 11-3 Blues at one point. The second period shots were 15-3 to in favor of the Calgary Flames. But that just kind of goes back to my point about the perimeter shots. That's all they took all night, except for maybe the second Mackey goal when he was, you know, he kind of came in. Still scored. Yeah, yeah, exactly, immediately after. But, like, the second... The second Mackey goal, he kind of had a bit of speed coming into the zone. He gets the puck at, like, the top of the circle, and it's just a good shot. Like, you can't really even argue. It was just a really good shot. But everything else tonight seemed like it just came from the outside. They couldn't set up anything in the middle. And that kind of, to your point about rolling the dice and and what are the Blues going to do, I don't know if it was a great job. Like, I, I don't, I genuinely don't know if it was a great job of the Blues defending it or if it was just a really lazy effort, which I'm probably going to lead a little bit more towards, a complete and total lazy effort from the Flames in oh, not it was. being able to set anything up that was dangerous, that was you know could have created a, a, like a decent scoring chance. It just seemed like they were get the puck across the blue line, throw the puck on net, and hope for the best. 
And the Flames have always had this mentality of you got to pepper shots. It's a Daryl. It's part of Daryl Sutter's system. You put the puck on net, good things happen. But if you put the puck on net, you have to have other people in the right spots to have good things happen. Right. Which is something the Flames were miserable at tonight and have been miserable at all year. Right. By by putting everything on net, I don't think when they say that they mean just pepper things from outside the slot. You know, yeah. I don't think that's what they mean by that. The Blues, no. like to their credit, I know the Blues defense isn't very good, but they're pretty good about blocking shots that are like to the outside of the slot, as every single team in the National Hockey League is. So it's not that impressive of a stat, but still, you <sighs> got to get to the, if there's one thing that the Blues defense cannot do, and I mean cannot do is if you just rush a guy to the net mm -hmm. because they are terrible with their sticks. They get, they freeze up. They're really good at covering. That's their initial instinct. Every single time is covering the pass. They don't pay attention. If you slide a few guys up front and you just charge the net, that's mm -hmm. the way to do it. And that's how the blues have been beaten all season long. And the flames just didn't do any of that. They must've been pumped to see them. that not happening. They're like, damn, we don't even have to like, we don't have to do nothing. Yeah, like, that's the problem is now the defense is going to be, oh, we don't have to do anything? What? Crazy. That's going to be the new identity of the Blues. They're like, damn, we went oh, through great. Alberta and we, you know, we did our thing and that was that. Um, <laughs> I want to get to some of the comments as well. Someone saying all this laughter is getting so uncomf <laughs> uncomfortable. Well, it's something you're going to have to deal with because uh, he's just a funny man. And, and, you know, what's laughter is the best medicine, man. I'm a coping flames fan right now. I put a, would you rather us cry? I can yeah. cry. Oh, well, I, I, I'm going to go cry. We after have plenty this. to cry about. <laughs> we do. And we could, <laughs> um, let's see here. If the flames keep at it like this, we definitely have a shot at Bedard. I don't know if it's good. If it's that drastic, the flames never pick hey. high. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, bold of you to assume they win the draft lottery, by the way. Just right. So that works. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Rigged. You're not getting any puck luck right now. You're definitely not getting <laughs> any ball luck, let's just say. <laughs> um, Calgary could use Valimaki. This one coming from our friend, uh, some guy named AZ Sports Guy. Um, you may, may have heard of him. He was on can the show before Logan you. Can we, yeah. Can we lose Logan? <laughs> Can we get Logan Cooley? Yeah, Logan please? Cooley and Yusuf Alamaki come back. Uh, he and scored at Mullet Arena for the away team <laughs> a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I remember seeing that. Um, Jeff Nelson, make, Jeffrey Nelson, excuse me, making a really good point here. Tanev makes a big difference. And and that's something, too, that, you know, if you, if you don't watch a lot of Flames games, you don't realize just how important Chris Tanev is to this blue line. Like, when he's not in the lineup – it is a completely drastically different looking blue line. And it's frustrating as hell. Um, he is the driver of the blue line and, and it's, it just sucks. I know he's hurt and I hope he's okay. Um, what did this, someone says, did Binner do some air punches? Did, did we get any live on looks the bench? <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure there was going to be something, some kind of interaction on the bench with Bennington and, uh, and Kadri. <laughs> I thought that for sure. I'm surely there was. I mean, the opening face off, Braden Shen leaned into Kadri's ear and said something. I don't even know what that I know. Was. I was like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> um, I think that was a Kadri thing more than a Flames thing, obviously. Oh, but. for sure. It was a personal. It was it was 100% oh, yeah. personal. Oh, 100%. Um, given, given the history there. Uh, this clown on the stream just dumped on Josh Levo, yet Levo doesn't get scored on, puts the puck on net all the time. He's like a Jaden Schwartz, snake bitten, but good. No, I didn't dunk on Josh Levo. I dunked on the fact that Josh, Le I, that's a dunk on the blues. If anything, knowing that Josh Levo is your first line left winger right now. That's, that's a dunk on the blues. More than that. that is not a dunk on Josh Levo. <laughs> Josh Levo forever flame, by the way. Josh I was Levo totally anticipating first, a Levo goal. He's on the first line. And he's not only is he on the first line right now, he's with O'Reilly and, and Saad right now. I almost said Perron. God fucking damn it. Perron. <laughs> He's with O'Reilly and Saad right now, and he's been on the first line for like four weeks. He hasn't moved because they haven't had to move him. Yes, I don't think he looked out of place tonight. Like, I don't think he's been horrible. Not at all. Josh Levo's always been one of those, like, kind of serviceable guys. Like, like he was almost like a tweener for a little bit, like too good for the AHL, but not that great in the NHL. And I'm glad to see glad to see some success. You can you could root yeah. for the underdogs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um some more comments here. James Johnson says Calgary has never picked top three in an NHL draft. Isn't that fun? 
Yeah. Oh, the Blues have what was their first pick again? I think he won the Stanley Cup last year. I don't know. Eric fucking Johnson. He did. When Jonathan Tapes was available. He did. And we picked Eric Johnson. That was uh we're not gonna go there. Worth it. We're not Worth gonna it. go there. <laughs> Hey, you guys got Worth. your cup. At least you got your cup. Um, uh, missed the stra- missed the game. Got distracted. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It's okay. That happens. You didn't miss. You didn't miss much from a Flames perspective. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need to see. Um, Eric That's Francis asks Daryl Sutter: Are those the kind of mistakes that happen when you have some young guys in your lineup? The o- the youngest player in the lineup was Adam Ruzicka, who's been there all year. Daryl Sutter literally removed. Matthew Phillips, who would have been the youngest, uh, and replaced him with Milan Lucic. So that's that's a pretty stu- stupid question, unless he was posing it as um, him saying, oh, you know, if you had young guys in the lineup, do you think you're making the same mistakes? Which I could see it, it going that way um, as well. Okay, last call for questions. We're going to put a bow on this episode of Game Over Calgary. Uh, lots of fun discussion, as always. Um I, I got to ask you a quick, uh, quick little Jersey question. Um, oh. Thoughts on Blasty? I love Blasty. Are you kidding me? God damn right. I got it. Oh, I got to get, I got to get one. Like I, I, I finally I, bit I, the I, bullet and bought one uh, a few games ago. Oh, best, yeah? best decision ever. Who's on the back? Or is it Nobody. I, I only do blank. I'm, I'm super you... picky. Oh, really? I'm super picky. Yeah. I'm too, I'm too paranoid about, uh, players getting traded. I I just I, oh, I can't. Gotcha. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I only ever get blanks, or I buy discounted traded players and take the names off the back. So, gotcha. Yeah, I just got. How easy is it to take names Very. off the back anyway? Very. Is it really? Uh, I think I have. Can you to... do that at home, or do you? Have yes. To... Yes. Wow. Uh, there's this little device you can buy. It's called a seam ripper. You can get it at just about any like craft store, and you oh, just okay. carefully break a few of the seams, and then the thread comes out easily, and the nameplate comes off. The Number comes off. It's uh, it's super Shoot. easy. I and that's what I like doing. I like collecting. Uh, I like collecting jerseys. So, uh, you buy a Hear couple. That? Stay good. <laughs> yeah, stay, stay good. Stay good, Speed Demon. Stay good. <laughs> Don't stop. Those, I was close for a second there. I was close. <laughs> oh, we are we are quickly running out of time on this Zoom call. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna thank you first and foremost for coming on. This has been incredible. Ah. Um, thanks unfortunately, for, thanks for inviting me. I think it could have been worse for me, uh, in terms of my rage, but I'll save that for Sunday when they inevitably lose, oh, yeah. uh, to the San Jose sharks. But before we go, please take this time to plug, uh, where you're at, what you're doing and, uh, and, uh, where people can find you. My channel's dead, but it's blues fan reacts. My Twitter is very much alive. That is also blues fan reacts anywhere. You can find me pretty much everywhere. I'm at blues fan reacts. If I'm not, if there's not a name blues fan reacts on a certain platform means I'm not on it. So yeah. It's it's very easy. Blues fan blues fan know, reacts. Much. <laughs> uh, no, you're you're the most quiet person I know on Twitter. Um, Mason, my guy. <laughs> All right, that's a big backhanded. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This was this was a okay. blast. Um, game over, Calgary fans, Calgary Flames fans. Anybody listening, if you're listening on playback, please be sure to uh, like and follow, subscribe, whatever you do on podcasting uh, podcatchers. There. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. This has been awesome. Like, subscribe to SDPN. Our next game over Calgary is going to be on Sunday versus the San Jose Sharks. You can't get rid of me that easily. Uh, Peter Klein is still in Mexico, so uh, I'm going to be hosting again, and I will be joined by the one and only Julian McKenzie, who makes his uh, second stop on, uh, on game over Calgary. So Flames fans, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope the Flames start winning for you. Go follow my buddy, uh, and we will talk to you on Sunday. Stay safe, pals, and we'll see you then. by Sports Interaction, Canada Sportsbook.